Hi there. Today, we're going to talk about how to make an alt character on different data centers. Now, I wanted to do this video because I'm actually having a wedding and marrying one of uh, my good friends, Discord members, mods, Patreon supporter, uh, Lord Zobvious in my Discord. We've been telling people all about it. And a lot of the comments I get is, well, I can't go because I don't have a character on. You're just going to have to watch this. <laughs> I don't have a character on Goblin Crystal Data Center. I'm in Europe or or I'm on the East Coast, so there's no way that I can attend. I didn't realize that a lot of people didn't realize that you can have an alt character on any data center or server that you want, um, depending on the subscription status that you have. But even then, you can still have one character per world or per server. So I'm going to just simply show you how to do that since I think a lot of people miss it because before you even get in the game, once you get in the game, you can't do it. You have to log back out. So let me show you how to do that. When you get to your start screen, this is the way that you make alt characters, right? So we're just going to click on data center. This is going to allow you to pick different data centers depending on where you want to go or what you want to do for your um, alt character. So as you can see, the star signifies that I'm on crystal. That's the current data center I'm on to change to a different data center. All you have to do is simply click on the one you want. So we're going to go European data center and we're going to pick either chaos or light. I will click on chaos and now you see that it's just connecting to the data center. No problems at all. This is not going to mess up any of your characters or anything. I actually already have a character made on this data center, but if you click new character, we're going to load appearance because uh, I have my main girl that I always <laughs> load her up so I don't have to do anything. I'm not going to save it. We're just going to quickly click through all this and I'm going to click conjurer one of the reasons you might want an alt character is to attend a wedding that you're invited to through a discord and any wedding that you're going to attend you're going to want to start in gridania because gridania is the closest to the wedding venue which is in hawthorne hut which is east shroud i think gridania you only need a level one character you don't have to do anything else you just need a level one character in gridania and do literally the very first quest to open up the ether ray and then usually someone will ferry you so i'm just going to click on conjurer so here is where you can actually select the other servers or the other world so now it depends if it's open or not sometimes it will not be available but these update every 12 to 24 hours i believe and so just because it's not available now doesn't mean it's not going to be available tomorrow. You can see the connection is poor. I'm not going to be using this character to fight or anything. I'm just using it to attend a wedding, a friend of mine. The connection really doesn't matter. The other thing that you need to know when you're wanting to attend a wedding is that you have to have it on the same server, your alt character that the wedding is. So let's say someone invited you to a wedding on Cerberus you have to make that character on Cerberus in order to accept the invitation. You can't have a character on Omega or Omega, sorry, Omega, isn't that the chat roulette thing? You can't have a character on Omega and be able to go to a Cerberus wedding. Let's just say the wedding's on C Cerberus. I'm hell about pronouncing his names, you guys know that. And I'm just gonna click Cerberus, hit confirm, and make my name and start my character. It is literally that easy to be able to go back to the server that you want to go to. I'm just going to cancel all of this. You're just going to exit out here, go to data center. I want to go back to North American data center and I'm going to click on crystal. And now I'm in my crystal data center again. So this is the easiest thing to do to create alt characters. I'm going to blur this out because it shows all of my characters and all my alts and I don't want you guys to see any of that. <laughs> all my extras that I use for all my video recording. So this is just the easiest thing to do to create an alt character so you can attend any wedding that you get invited to barring that there is space on that server. And again, just because there isn't it that one day doesn't mean there won't be the next. They constantly are updating. People are constantly coming and going. Bots are being deleted. So there's always space opening and closing. That is the way that you create an alt character to attend a wedding.
Like I said, you can attend my wedding. All you simply need to do is make an alt character on Goblin to be able to attend. You're, you can be entered to win the lottery for attending by going into my Discord and going into role selections and clicking that wedding Discord role. And that's gonna enter you. That's all you need to do. So if you wanna attend our wedding on July 1st, it's gonna be around 6 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. EST. I'm not sure how that translates over for like European countries or anything like that. You can do that and attend and it's gonna be super fun. And Lord's Obvious is kind enough to also give away Mog Station giveaways for whoever attends the wedding. So there's like extra perks for going. Uh, say you didn't want to enter the lottery and you just want an invitation, you can do that by supporting and becoming a Patreon member. Uh, thank you so much to the Patreon supporters I already have. Um, you guys are phenomenal and you allow me to keep on doing this. So I really, really appreciate that. I hope this helps because there's so many new people who don't realize that you can have an alt character on every data center to be able to attend, to play with other people, all sorts of stuff. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides or tutorials or attend my wedding, then you can go into my Discord and click here.